Films yeah. online. Okay, uh, thank you very much, guys. Okay, uh, let's continue. As I have promised, uh, today we are going to get acquainted with some new vocabulary. Uh, and <clears throat> uh, here you can see uh, the chart. In the first uh, column, you see the words. And uh, in the second, uh, you see the definitions of the words. Okay, guys, uh, now I'm going to divide you into the se uh, sessions. And uh, in the sessions, you are going to match these words to the definitions. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm, guys, can you hear me? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Вы сейчас экран? Нет, не видим. Так. Mm-hmm, and what about now? Видим. Окей, uh -huh. okay, uh, so guys, uh, сфотографируйте на всякий случай, вдруг оно у вас исчезнет. Mm. So guys, you should match the words to the definitions, окей? Okay? Можешь повторить? Ага, uh -huh, you, uh, you should match the words to the definitions. Окей? Okay? Сфотографируйте себе сейчас на всякий случай. Окей. Okay. Mm -hmm. Да, сфотографируйте, пожалуйста. Ага, Даня, ready? Окей, yeah. okay, so in your small groups you should match the words to the definitions. Окей. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, so guys, can you hear me? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you see the presentation? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, guys, uh, now you should match uh, the words uh, to their definitions and then be ready to answer these words uh, to these definitions. Okay? Так, ребят, на всякий случай сфотографируйте экран. Вдруг я сейчас выйду и вдруг исчезнет. Я просто как бы насчет этого не уверена. Uh -huh. Ready? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, guys. Uh, so, can you hear me? Yes. Uh -huh. So, uh, can, yes. You, can you see the presentation? Yeah. Yes, so we can see. So, guys, uh, you should match the words uh, to the definitions. 
are and you should uh, yeah you should match the words uh, here you have the words and he uh, here you have the definitions сфотографируйте себе на всякий случай а вы можете а вы можете пожалуйста я вот с компьютера сейчас зайду там уже будет сулейменова тамила только уже с аватаркой можете меня в этот зал закинуть да, без а то я просто телефон Все, я зашла. Можете перекинуть на эту группу? Ну, поможете еще раз презентацию открыть, пожалуйста. Uh -huh. Так, меня слышно? Uh -huh. yeah. Я могу скинуть в нашу группу задание это. Давай, 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 давай так и сделаем. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, do you have a screen? Yes. Okay. So, guys, please do it. How are you? Yes. No. Более менее. No. Не знаю. Я только одно ответил. Okay. I have done. Mm -hmm. You have done. Okay, very well. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, guys, how are you? Yeah, everything is okay. Mm -hmm. Have you finished? Yeah, have, we have. Mm -hmm. Okay, so very good, guys.
Okay, guys, is everyone here? Mm -hmm. So uh, now let's check. Uh, let's check uh, the results of your work. Miss mm -hmm. me, can you read the first? Distinctive, uh, distinctive. Mm -hmm. It's unique or special. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm, thank you very much. Uh, Tamila? I guess main is definition important. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, then yeah. Noticeable, easy to see. Mm -hmm. Noticeable, easy to see. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, uh, yes. Significant, it's, uh, I think, Uh, affecting many people and places, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> Sorry, guys. Not in okay, guys, do you agree? Yes. Uh -huh, then, yeah. Significant, it's the most, most important. Yeah, it's the most important, right. Uh, this done. Underline mm -hmm. definition. It's basic, but not. I'm sorry, the stand can't hear you very well. Underline is real and basic, but not obvious. Right, real and basic, but not obvious. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the last one, widespread, Lunar. Widespread, uh, affecting many people and places. Mm -hmm. Okay, so very good, guys. I suppose that this uh, piece of vocabulary will be useful for you when you're going to talk about online work, which we can do or some other parts of our work. And uh, we are going to the next part of our lesson in order to fix uh, these constructions, these uh, words in our speech. Let's practice. Uh, let's make some. Let's make some sentences using these words. So uh, here you have uh, four words: uh, distinctive, significant, widespread, and underline. You should make some sentences, or maybe it's going to be a piece of speech, uh, on the topic um, about internet and modern technology. So you should make four sentences, or maybe it will be a piece of talking uh, when uh, you're going to use these words, distinctive, significant, widespread, and underline. Okay, guys, please, three minutes on this task. Three minutes on this task.
Okay, cool. so let's start our discussion. Tamila, will you start? Um, so the internet is significant uh, while studying, especially with pandemic situation. I'm a student and the internet is a widespread thing for education by Owen. Uh, and I usually use internet for my education. It's fast and helpful. I can translate words, find and underline the information that underline, and I can't find in real life. And the most helpful thing is mobility and flexibility of education with the internet. For example, I can find information wherever I am and learn what I need whenever I want. Uh, internet while studying is distinctive for uh, 21st century. Century. Okay, Tamila, very well, very well. Thank you, Yasmin. Uh, he had a distinctive smile. Neglect of nature will lead to significant environmental problems. Advocacy for women's rights is widespread throughout the world. And uh, in my essay, the introduction smoothly moved to underlying part. Okay, so very nice. I'm Looking at your examples, we can see that these examples, these words can be used not only when describing some modern technology, but in every sphere of our, our life. In When we talk about environment, for example, very nice. Okay. Mm, okay, who else wants to answer? Mm -hmm. Daniel? So, I think that uh, the internet is a distinctive technology for, in our lives because we can do too many things with it and that um, mm -hmm. I don't written uh, anything yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, Timberland, what about your examples? Uh, internet plays distinctive role in our life. It will be significant when we found some information. Also, internet is a widespread network and it's an underlying tool, uh, tool of studying. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Dastan, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Yes, the signal plays among the significant role on the internet. Mm -hmm. Success is the underlying cause of many illnesses. Mm -hmm. And and everyone on the white spirit is one. Okay, thank you very much. And Lunara, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, Lunara has some problems as I can see. Okay, so thank you very much, guys. Uh, so here you have some adjectives uh, which express um, uh, which express uh, that something is very important. Uh, so except important or very important, uh, you can use these uh, adjectives uh, talking about talking about every sphere of our life. And so now we are going to the main um, topic, or uh, mm -hmm, to the main part of our lesson. Today we are going to talk how to describe the <clears throat> chat. So, okay, please. Uh, please look at this chat, look at this table. All right, so how do we call this kind of graph? How do we call it? I guess it's maybe bar graphs. Mm, no. Okay. So, uh -huh. yes, mean what is it? Table. Table, right. Table or a chart. So, in what cases do we use uh, tables when we want to describe what kind of information? Mm 
-hmm. Maybe the Protestant relation between some kind of country or some kind of things and their um, numbers of something like growth right. or user, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, so guys, uh, when you use a chart or a table, you can uh, put uh, there the precise information. You can put here the numbers. For example, when you want to uh, when you want to show the number of people using internet, when you want to show the number of students who have excellent marks, who have satisfactory marks, and so on. Here, you use the table or a chart. It is called in another way. And so now we are going to <coughs> uh, we are now we are going to get acquainted with the structure which we use when we describe the table. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, here you see uh, the page from the exercise book, which we usually have. And this is a piece of information about describing the table. Okay, uh, Tamila, can you read exercise number one? Study the table below, which shows the percentage of time internet users spent on the eight most popular online activities in 2017 and 2009. Uh, compare the two responses and answer the question uh, by one for three. Mm -hmm. From one to three. Okay, so guys, uh, here you have a table. Uh, here you have three questions. And here you have two responses, two pieces of writing, which students did to describe this all right, to describe this table. So uh, you have five minutes to read it. Uh, and you should be ready to answer these questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have this uh, page. I sent it to you in your WhatsApp group. So you don't necessarily need to look at the screen. You just can use your page on your laptop or your smartphone. Okay, so guys, please read to these responses. Uh, they can contain some uh, necessary vocabulary, which we can use uh, while describing. So, uh, five minutes on this task, please read it, and then be ready to answer the questions. Okay, please start.
How we can understand uh, satisfactory? А удовлетворительный. Uh, in other words, which of these response uh, do you find the best or better than another one? Okay, guys, are you ready? Let's discuss. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yasmin, uh, can, you read, can you read and answer the first question? Uh, which response do you think is more satisfactory? Why? Mm -hmm. uh, I think the second response is more satisfactory. Uh -huh. Why? Uh, because uh, in the first response, we just uh, see uh, the same as in the table, same information in the table. Uh -huh. uh, and the second response give us a... Um, Mm -hmm. Okay. Detailed, detailed information. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Tamila, do you have something to add? Yeah, I agree with Yasmin. Mm -hmm. I guess more satisfactory response is number two, uh, because the response number two is more detailed uh, mm -hmm. than response one. And in response two, we have more comparative structure uh, compared with response number one. And yeah, it, it's all. Okay, thank you very much. Very good, ladies. Okay, uh, question number two. Uh, Daniel, can you answer? Which sentences in the two responses contain main points? How are these signposted? Underline the signposting. Mm -hmm. Signposting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is it signposting, guys? Mm -hmm. Signposting, uh, maybe that ключевые слова. No? Right, yeah. When we want to show that something is very important, uh, you express it using some special words. It is very important that, uh, in order to draw our attention to the point. Mm -hmm. So, Daniel, how are these main po uh, main points uh, signposted? No. Uh, we can see them in response to, for uh -huh. example, the most significant uh -huh. okay. change was in the way use communicated online. Okay. Um, second is another not noticeable trend. Uh -huh. mm. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. uh, do you have uh, anything to add, guys? Okay, very good. And uh, Timurlan, can you read uh, question number three? In each response, where is the detailed information in relation to the general statements? Mm -hmm. Detailed information. You give some details, you give some numbers. Okay? It's in second paragraph. Mm -hmm. Okay, for example. For example, in, in response number one, the percentage of time spent on social me or social networking sites increased sharply from 14% to 24%. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. What else? Mm -hmm, yes. In, okay, Timurlan. Mm -hmm. Timurlan. 
and in response number two the use of social networking increased significantly from 14 percent to 24 percent mm -hmm. good okay yes what else and uh ml in uh 20 20 and 7 it was uh 16 and uh 20 and 9 it uh 9 percent it's uh 7 uh mm -hmm. smaller than uh 20 and 7 mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Mm -hmm. So uh, here you can see some structures, some expressions which we can use when we compare mm, the numbers in the table. Or maybe when you compare two tables or so like that. Uh, so guys, which vocabulary in these uh, two responses do you find useful? Okay, Yasmin, what about you? What pieces of vocabulary do you find useful? Uh, what pieces of vocabulary do you find useful? Which uh, which will you use in your writing? Which words, which expressions, which maybe grammar structures? Mm. Comparative nouns. Mm -hmm. uh, comparative adjectives, you mean? Well, adjectives, yes. Uh -huh, for example. For example, um, more useful. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Mm -hmm. What else? Um, present simple. Okay, present simple. Good. Uh huh. Tamila, what about you? Uh, if we talk about comparative, we have in response one some examples like more popular, less popular, and the second one response, I guess there is uh, the super, superlative structure, like the most significant change. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay. What else is interesting, uh, Timurlan? Can you repeat question? Uh -huh. So what vocabulary in these two responses do you find useful for yourself? Which of them do you use in your writing? Maybe noticeable. Noticeable, okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Diaz, what about you? Mm -hmm. Timila. And uh, the re really interesting words like preparation, uh, devil date to watch in something. Yeah. Preparation. Uh -huh. yeah. And uh, the new word that we study at the beginning of lesson is uh -huh. significant. Mm -hmm. Okay, so very good guys so i suppose that this lesson was useful for you and you learned a lot so for my students to get your feedback i will uh, send you google form into your whatsapp chat okay and uh, for teachers uh, also i have a special form for you and i will send it to you here uh, in zoom please spend a couple of minutes uh, to um, fill in it because I want to know your opinion about our lesson. So students, thank you very much. You worked pretty well and see you next time. Goodbye.